Hi, I'm Daisy and today I will be talking about Unspoken by Sarah Rees Brennan, which is the first book in the Lynn Byrne legacy. I had the pleasure of meeting Sarah this week and she is one of the most funny, kind women and she gives amazing hugs. So I can say full heartedly she is an awesome lady. If you're somehow watching this Sarah, thank you for the first chapter of Untold. I is currently helping soothe my feels and my need for the next book. I really, really want to read Untold so badly and I know I've only got a month and a bit to wait and it's still really really hard to wait for that though so oh I just need you I need you in my life untold please come to me soon Sarah also signed my book so now this is going in the pile of oh my god I've got it signed this is amazing I'm going to keep it forever pile Unspoken is centred around Cammy Glass, a teenager who has a passion for investigating. The story is set in England in Sorry in the Vale, where Cammy's life is turned upside down when the Lindburn family finally return after many years of absence. But the interesting thing about Cammy, she's been talking to someone in her head ever since she was born. Cammy is considered a bit of an outsider because of her imaginary friends, so she speaks a lot less about it now. I love this book for so many reasons. Number one, Sarah Rees Brennan brings such wit to this book. Number two, it's filled with so much humour that it had me laughing on several points and I absolutely adore the characters. Number three, Sarah makes this a page turner and sets the scene so well. She makes this amazing atmosphere but at the same time there's also this darkness with creepiness thrown in. The plot line is really solid, like a rock. I haven't read anything like this this year so I really appreciated the book. I personally love a young adult book with a kick butt strong lovable girl. Cammy is also smart and brave but she doesn't lose these qualities when two hot cousins roll into town all of a sudden. It's a really fun book to read and the characters are so amazing. Jared and Ash both have qualities that you love and hate. Sure, Jared can be a bit of a jerk in this book, but he's also a little bit of a softie. Ash seems very nice and friendly, but there's also this uncertainty to his character. So they weren't just typecast as being a jerk or nice. It was good to have those layers. These characters are like onions. The more you peel back, the more you're going to see. If you're a Cassandra Clare fan, there are a few references in this book that will make you smile. I'd also really like to be friends with Cammy because she's just awesome. The romantic schmoozling in this book isn't all hot and heavy. It is worth waiting for when you do get those moments of romance. Now it's spoilery time, so if you haven't read the book, my beauties, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you for the meantime. Please tell me I wasn't the only one thinking Ash was doing all the killing. Throughout the book, I've been texting my friend on all the theories I had, whether Cammy and Jared were actually related somehow, or whether their parents had done some weird juju. So I was on the right theme within this, so I'm quite proud of myself for kind of guessing along the lines of what was actually going to happen. I love Jared, even though he's one of those bad boys that you're kind of worried that if you go and talk to, he's gonna punch you in the face. And quite literally, there is a lot of face punching for poor Ash. Or is poor Ash the wrong thing to say? He did nearly kill Angela. I suppose he's kind of redeemable because he didn't do it in the end. But Uncle Rob totally threw me. That guy is certainly psychotic. Bless Holly, she's such a sweetie, but I am suspicious of her family. I'm hoping Untold will tell us a little bit more about the residents' past history. I'm kind of bummed for the ending, not because it wasn't great, because it was, but I'm just super bummed for Cammy, who is now Jaredless, and he doesn't even seem to care anymore. So I took a punch right to the feels with that one. Thank you, Sarah Rees Brennan. I'd be interested to see how Holly and Angela will play out because I'm hoping that they might become something in the next book. One can only wish. I'm also suspicious of Angela and Rusty's family because Rusty seems really super nice, but at the same time, he's definitely hiding something up his sleeve. I'm sure of it. There are a few really funny bits in this book, but especially when Cammy starts undressing for Jared and he's just like, no, no, stop. And then eventually she goes and asks Ash and says, well, what would you do if I suddenly took my top off? And he's just like, I'll clear the hall. So yeah, there's several bits in this that made me laugh and they were just things like, oh, stand down, you ridiculously tall person when they're at the wall. There's just little tiny things that Sarah Rees Brennan delivers in such a amazing way that makes me laugh. I'm going to leave this review on a quote that I found funny when I was reading this. I don't know why I read it the way I did. I was tired and things like that happen when I'm tired. The inside of the water rising was dim and brown, with stools that seemed to have old men growing from them like mushrooms from the hollows of trees. Can you guess what I was thinking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Thinking? Thinking? Yes. Poop. I was thinking about poop when I read this because it was just too much with water rising, dim and brown and stools. That just, in my sleepy haze, I was thinking about poop. So now that I've admitted that, I will probably have to do a video at some point telling you all the things that I have read wrong or I just pronounce wrong because I think you'll all find it quite funny. One last thing before I go, when I was at the event with Cassandra Clare, Sarah Brennan and Jamie Campbell Bower the other day, I gave them all gifts and I gave Jamie Campbell Bower a angelic rune from the Mortal Instruments 
and I am still fangirling from this still now but he actually put it on after I left so the entirety of the signing and I was the fourth person from the start so he wore it the entire time and I'm kind of just overwhelmed with the fact that he actually wore something I made so yes fangirling thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and happy reading bye bye if you're a Cassandra Clare fan there are a few references in this book that oh my god that scared the poop out of me. Whew.